I am Anthony from Hatchersnet and today we're looking at the Linksys Dual Band AC1200 Wi-Fi 5 router. It covers up to 1000 square feet and handles up to 10 devices or more at speeds up to 1.2 gigabits per second. This powerful, compact and reliable Wi-Fi 5 router lets you surf, stream and game all at the same time to keep you connected to the things that matter most. With easy setup, browser-based installation using smartphone, tablet, or computer, and separate guest access, your network will always remain safe and secure. So this product is provided by Linksys for me to review. And for this segment, we're going to unbox it and take a look at its goodies. That sounded bad, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's find some way to open it. So the AC... 1200 is a more entry-level router and as you can see it has a more of a stand-up profile than some routers where you lay flat and also you don't see any antennas but still it promises up to 1,000 square feet in range Open up this side here, or maybe this side here. Oh, there we go. Ha! Ah. Okay, so opening up the box inside, quick start guide, uh, regulatory and warranty information. Let's see. We got Ethernet cord. Power adapter. Here's the router. Let's make sure there's nothing else left in the box. No, it looks, looks like we got it all. Okay, cool. Now, before I get rid of the box, here is basically what it says the features are on the side. A reliable Wi-Fi with simultaneous dual bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Double the bandwidth to avoid interference and maximize throughput. Advanced security, WPA2 encryption, and SPI firewall to keep your network safely connected. Protected guest access. Give guests access while keeping a wanted guest off your Wi-Fi network and your family's connected devices. Push button connect. Connect devices easily with a push of the button, WPS. And easy setup. Set up in minutes with browser-based installation using iPad, tablet, smartphone, or computer. And let me show you the other side real quick. So this side shows you the, some of the ports, and then um, it says, how does it work? Your router connects to your modem, follow the setup instructions. What's inside? Well, we've already looked. The router, the cable, the power adapter, and some documents. And then here is what the back looks like. So it's just a recap of what we've already seen. Um, again, uh, 1,000 square feet, uh, 10 plus devices, AC 1200. Uh, Links is, is doing something I, I really like and it really makes it easy to understand. Like for example, in this house we use the Linksys AC3000. You can find the review here on HackledgeNet or h &E Games. And um, AC3000 means it's 3 gigabits per second. So AC1200 is 1.2 gigabits per second. So it makes it easy to understand. So now for the reveal of the router. Ooh, that is sleek. So here are the ports. WPS reset. Oh, Ethernet 1, 2, 3, and 4. The, so the connection from the modem or the another router if you're chaining it. The AC 12 volt. And then, of course, power on, power off. Right now it's in the off position. And... Uh, it is fairly simple. I, it's been a while since I've seen a router without antennas, but I'm not going to take it apart. It's not what I'm supposed to do. I can't show you the bottom, but it's just legs. Uh, the bottom has the uh, network uh, information for this particular router. So it's rare in at this day and age for a router not to have an antenna, or at least as far as I've been aware. Uh, for example, my AC3000 has four antennas on the top. So, you know... I, I figured this one would have at least one. Uh, even my router before, the AC3000 had two antenna, or I guess antennae. But, 
it looks pretty straightforward. Here's an into power indicator, internet indicator, port indicator. So now we're gonna talk about how well this device performs. After unboxing, I simply had to connect an Ethernet line from the modem to the router and another from port 1 on the router to my computer. Once that was done, I plugged the router in and flipped the power switch on. After about a minute, the Wi-Fi networks popped up on my computer. I connected to the 5 GHz wireless network and followed the instructions for the web base set up in the Quick Smart Guide. Once I set my network and access information, I was tasked to upgrade the router's firmware. Once the firmware update was complete, I was taken to the system status page in the browser. The router's system status page provides basic router information. There are some configuration options for network administration and routing as well as parental controls. However, the moment that you click on configuration, the true amount of control is revealed. For an entry-level router, there were a lot more administration settings than anticipated. While you can more or less set it and forget it after the step where the firmware is updated, the ability to customize connections and routing can get deep. There is also plenty of security to protect the router from outside access, but I would like to see a few things better explained in the configuration. For example, in Security DMZ, you can check mark DMZ and save it. If you are just playing with the settings and have no idea what DMZ does, you could inadvertently open someone's computer to the internet without protection. By the way, it means demilitarized zone and it is used in cases where the firewall prevents access to another server. I like this router's sleek black look. I've gotten so used to multiple antennas on a router that when I first saw this router's box, I thought it was a modem. Watching the dimly lit blue lights blink as the router works surely beats the old days with the bright LEDs. Directly in front of me, on the top shelf of my desk, in my office, the lights do not blind or distract me. The connection to the internet via both LAN and Wi-Fi is easy. Web pages load quickly, downloads are fast, and streaming video is as smooth as butter. If you are looking for an entry-level router with many of the features of more premier routers, you cannot go wrong with this one for general gaming, video streaming, and web surfing. Now, this is the part where we do a little benchmarking. For a base, we will run a connection test via my cellular telephone, via Wi-Fi, and another with the AC3000 router via landline. Afterwards, we will perform a Wi-Fi test and a landline test of the AC1200 with my PC. All connection tests will be best of three average from my home to every stream in Cleveland, Ohio using speed test by Okla. Due to the current national health situation, my bandwidth is not close to its 100 megabits per second potential from prior, but in the Wi-Fi test, the AC1200 performed 22% slower on downloads, but 3% better on uploads and had the same ping. In the LAN test, the AC1200 was 29% slower on downloads, but only 3% slower on uploads and 26% slower ping. Accounting for a margin of error of 5%, the AC1200 is 17-21% to slower than the AC3000 on downloads and even with the upload speed, despite a 21% variation in ping. Now, for those who don't know, ping is the time it takes for the internet connection to connect with the server. So basically, it's the time from your computer to wherever you're connecting on the internet. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of the AC1200 from Linksys. And again, great entry level router. I, I definitely think if you're just looking to do some basic gaming and some streaming and uh, emails, web surfing, whatever, this is pretty much good for you. Um, it has a 10-ish limit. It's even on the box, it 10 plus connections. But uh, if all of them are doing high bandwidth things, uh, you're gonna you're gonna see some choking. And on the plus side, um, it, it tops out at uh, 1.2 gigabits per second. Uh, at least where I'm at, uh, 100 megabits per second is the max bandwidth, so that should definitely be fine. Uh, but again, uh, too many cooks in that particular kitchen, and then you might see some choking. But if you're looking for an inexpensive router, that will suit your needs and has all the security features you would want to have in a router, then definitely go pick this one up at your local department store.
if you have any questions or want to talk about this router or uh, perhaps even the AC3000, which you can find a review of on this channel, but post a comment. And thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.